Happy birthday, President Trump. That's right, today is the president's birthday. And to celebrate, the New York State Attorney General, in one of her first acts as the AG, sent the president a lawsuit. And the lawsuit also names members of his family. For the full story on this, let's go to John Shumo. John, what happened? Bill, it's a family affair. The New York State Attorney General is not just suing the Trump Foundation, but also the president himself, his two sons, Eric and Donald Jr., his daughter, Ivanka, uh, all for, quote, extensive and persistent violations of state and federal law. The lawsuit alleges the Trump Foundation raised almost $3 million with the specific goal of influencing the presidential election and making the Trumps richer. Acting Attorney General Barbara Underwood claims that president's inner circle, including then campaign manager Corey Lewandowski, repeatedly gave grants to nonprofits solely in an attempt to win votes. They claim they have the emails to prove it. Underwood cites five $100,000 grants that were made to groups in Iowa in the days immediately before the February 2016 Iowa caucus. The two-year investigation also claims the foundation used its money to benefit Trump or his businesses. It cites a $100,000 payment to settle legal claims uh, stemming from a lawsuit against the Mar-a-Lago Resort and $10,000 to buy a painting of the president that's displayed at one of his golf courses. The president responded on Twitter, the sleazy New York Democrats and their now disgraced and run out of town AG Eric Schneiderman are doing everything they can to sue me on a foundation that took in 18 plus million and gave out to charity more than it took in 19 plus million. I won't settle this case. Bill, legal experts and political pundits are now having their say. For any other president, this would be a catastrophic event. But in the world of Donald Trump, whether it's good news or bad news, um, things just seem to change every 24 hours. So, you know, he was up after North Korea, and now he's got this um, really humiliating setback from the New York State Attorney General. You know, tomorrow there's always another surprise around the corner. The lawsuit seeks $2.8 million in restitution and looks to close the Trump Foundation for good. Bill? Thanks, John. All right, let's bring in tonight's A-plus panel to break this down. We're joined by legal expert. He is a former prosecutor and now defense attorney, Bob Bianchi. Good to see you, Bob. Good to see you, Bill. Republican strategist Jeanette Hoffman back with us. Always good to see you, Jeanette. Thanks, Bill. And Democratic strategist Bill Caruso. Always good to see you, Bill. Hey, Bill. Uh, Bob, I'm going to start with you. How much legal weight does the New York Attorney General carry, and what do you say to the potential that there is a political cloud over this move? <laughs> well, let's go back to Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation cloud. I mean, th th this is a well-documented, there's uh, actual emails provided in the Attorney General's release. Bill, understand the Attorney General has both criminal authority and civil authority to enforce private foundation rules. And if this press release is to be believed, there were clear violations. It was really a sham or a shell. There was no real point of record. Okay, Bob, but then why not pursue criminal charges? Well, you know, listen, they could. They won't because it's President Trump and his organization. But, you know, you bring up a good point, Bill. If this were a smaller person or a smaller organization, they oftentimes do get criminally charged. Jeanette, what do you think? I mean, it sounds like they're ch they're chasing uh, down a rabbit hole here. Well, and it's funny that this is the pretty much the first act of the new Attorney General of New York is to go after the Trump presidency, right? I mean, look, no one is above the law. If there are campaign finance violations, I think you know the president's legal team should figure that out and pay them. However, I think the Democrats better not overplay their hand here, Bill, because I think the majority of people see these investigations as pointless and political. Bill, political distraction, or is this maneuvering between Governor Cuomo and his attorney general and Governor Murphy in New Jersey and his attorney general, who's joined more than a dozen lawsuits against the president? Is it like, who can be more anti-Trump for the 2020 primary? There may be a little of that. And, and I am concerned as a Democrat that we are overplaying our hand a bit, but I actually think this is the sweet spot for how you handle this. Bob hit the note right. It, this could have been criminally charged and they didn't. It's civilly charged. So I, do, I think it shows restraint. I, you know, look, this is the same, uh, almost the same allegations against the Clinton Foundation. And I think see, nothing really ended numbers, up happening there. They may have paid some fines. I think the majority of voters are so sick and tired of all this. They want politicians to talk about the real issues, such as the economy, such, such as job creation, such as taxes. And that's what the president's doing. The difference with the Clinton Foundation was that money was going to charity. 
Well, the president says his money was going to charity too. $19 million. That's not what the complaint so we'll says. Well, we'll see what the Department of Justice has to say about all that. A lot of reports will be coming out shortly. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. You got it, guys.